Esther was at the beach the other day and her little kids are trying to learn how to surf and they're using boogie boards and no one knows what they're doing they just sort of splash around and occasionally a wave gives them a good ride and so and Esther didn't get in the ocean with them she was just watching from a distance and they were having fun and so she didn't they had no conversation about how to go about it and so since then Esther has been eating lunch at the beach every day and watching the surfers and so it occurred to her that the ocean is relentless are you aware of that the waves are just coming and coming and coming and coming it's a momentum no one calls up and says I'm here start the waves <laughs> there is a momentum a, mo a pretty predictable momentum so it really for the surfers is about positioning themselves in the wave so Esther notices that these teenagers that she is watching they're new to the game too they're just learning they're trying to find their placement in the wave so here comes a wave and it just sort of washes over them and takes the board right out of their hands and here comes another one and it sort of washes over them and here comes another one and it just washes over them and they get nothing from it and after a little while they're watching over their shoulder and they're watching the wave coming and as they're watching the wave coming now they're on the board and they begin paddling with the wave they begin getting their momentum up to about what they have now calculated through trial and error of what the momentum of this wave is and if they get their momentum timed precisely just ahead of that wave then that wave just comes right up and carries them all the way to the shore a nice long really fun ride and so Esther she's writing in her journal because she wants to guide the kids when they come back to Del Mar I figured some things out about this it's about you be if you're not moving with the wave when it comes it will knock you over or at least it will not give you a ride but if you're up to speed with the wave so you all have set the waves in motion you set the wave in motion before you ever got here into this physical body and as you've been sifting through the contrast of your life you've been setting the wave in motion you've got a relentless energy wave machine pushing you forward into the completion of anything that you want but you've got to be up to speed with the wave you've got to be ready for the wave you've got to be ready for that wave and so that's what that inspiration is in other words if you've been fussing and worrying if, you, if you've been noticing that things aren't working out well then you're not catching that wave so the real question is what wave are you catching and the answer to that question is easy for you to answer did you catch the wave to prosperity is there more money than you have any sensible use for flowing through your experience then that's the wave you caught you practiced it and you got up to speed with it and you were ready for it and you were ready when it came and you rode it yes or did you catch the wave of not enough money because that waves coming too you are the one that set those waves in motion and so you've got to determine what it is that you want you've got to define what you want but you've also got to practice your readiness to be in sync with that which you want and there's just no better way Esther watched and she learned and she wrote it down and she will say it but those kids are not going to learn it from her words they're going to have to get out there in the waves and they will find their relationship with those waves they will and you all do too you get to determine if you've picked a wave that's leading you toward abundance or a wave that's leading you toward lack of it you get to pick whether you've picked a wave that is leading you toward clarity or a wave that's leading you toward confusion you get to pick the wave that's leading you toward progressive people that are really fun to co-create with or troublesome people that are criticizing and critical of everything you get to choose you get to choose which wave in the stock market industry you ride you get to choose are you riding with the high flyers or are you riding with those who are bottoming out you get to choose it all you see you get to choose and 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 you can just pick it out of the sky you get to choose it so when we say to you what do you choose do you choose a hundred thousand dollar increase in your income this year or do you choose things being about the same well I choose more well if you choose a hundred thousand do you choose a million dollars increase a man sat in the hot seat last week and said he had just become one of the 1,000th wealthiest people in the world and in 2008 he was addicted to drugs and had no prosperity at all 
And through application of some things he is learning now, his prosperity is really flowing. So there are only two questions to ask. Do you choose it? Do you want it? Would you like to have it? Is this something that you choose? What do you choose? Do you choose a lot? Do you choose a little? And what we've noticed about you is you choose what you expect to be able to deliver. You're not choosing what you want. You're choosing what you think you are capable under the current situation and based upon the standard that you've been living you are evaluating what you think you might allow to come to yourself by what you have already allowed. And that is not the rationale that we are wanting you to choose. We want you to choose what you want. And then we want you to find thoughts that line you up with that wave that you've chosen. And it is our promise to you. This time space reality will deliver to you the ride that you want. A lot of people are afraid to choose. They're afraid to choose because the waves have been beating them up. I chose and I, it didn't work out well for me. I got beat up. I got beat up. I got out there. I thought I was playing in a really big game. I went over there to Hawaii. It was the pipeline. The biggest wave in the world. And all it did was break my neck. It beat me up. And we say, choose the little waves at first until, you're, until you show yourself. But there are no limits. Just choose it and line up with it and receive it. That's it. That's it. Nobody is holding you apart from anything but, but you and your own contradictory thoughts. Helpful? Yes. We thought so. Enough? Come on. Did you like that? Is that something that you can work with? Can you feel, the, can you feel your own wave? Do you understand you produce your wave through your desires? Do you understand that you've already produced it? That life has caused you to produce a relentless wave? And that now your work is just to line up with it? Do you get that? Is this two example deplete? In other words, are, are we talking too theoretical or is it? Is it practical enough for you to get your thoughts around it? Do you believe that you create your own reality? Do you, do you accept that you are vibrational? And do you understand the part your thoughts play in it? And can you feel what disc this current thought puts you on? So if it's a good feeling thought, would you like to increase the momentum of it? If it's a bad feeling thought, would you like to decrease the momentum of it? So if it's a good feeling thought, would you like to increase the momentum by becoming more specific? And if it's a bad feeling thought, would you like to decrease the momentum by becoming more general? You've got control of your board. <laughs>